like it's been reported that um the boy rich homie Quan has been subpoenaed and the state is looking for him to testify and and basically cooperate a lot of them statements that he made uh on the death of uh, uh, donovan nut thomas and how it may have you know how young thug may be directly involved in that um a few months ago he made statements that were recorded and people put it out there that was maybe almost a year ago he put those you know what i'm saying they put the video out of the statements and it seems like today it was reported that he's officially been subpoenaed he, i think he was already on the witness list but he wasn't gonna be a witness now they subpoenaed him he gotta come to court and they probably gonna make him sit on the stand and, and, and say what he said to those police on that recording um to me this similar to like the fbg butter situation where like he said some shit and now he got to come to court and say it again if he doesn't say the same thing most likely they're going to impeach him on the on the stand and they're going to go back to his recorded statements but i just thought it was crazy i know a lot of people will put the story out there uh rich homie Quan snitching on young thug that's not a new story but i thought that it was some new information that he's been subpoenaed and he will most likely take the stand and have to implicate Young Thug in the murder of Donovan Nut Thomas, man. No, facts. Facts. That's a crazy story, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's more or less because people heard all the rumors back in the day about uh, around 2015, 16, about them falling out. And everybody thought it was over uh, Quan getting on stage saying that that comment about Thug that was basically going against his manhood, but I don't think people realized it was deeper than what, uh, you know, was being put out there. You know how they say deeper than rap. I absolutely. Mean, I, absolutely. Like at the time of Donovan Nutt Thomas's death, he was managing Rich Homie Quan, And he also had uh, the dude wife and Lucy Sand. The death of Donovan, Donovan Nutt Thomas was like the major event that was like it a never end type shit. Uh, you know what I mean? So, I, I just think it's crazy because when, when I first heard the recording, to be honest, I, I'm not going to say I was su was surprised, but um, it was surprising to be like, damn, this dude was really like, I don't know if that was the police who recorded that or what, but Rich Homie Quan was really straight up talking to the police. Just was, uh, Somebody else, it looked like, because I put it in my comp, but somebody else was recording while he was talking, it looked like, because the people on the recording, you could tell are some type of authority just by the way they talking back. It was the police. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, they they the police, but you could just tell by the way they they count the words they the words they using and stuff like they them the authorities. And uh um, when it comes to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta I'm scared of saying Atlanta. You know what I mean? Right. So my hand was on the spot. I saw it. We had a show together. I was like, so I'm just asking the XL. Everybody been talking about I'm gonna give you a man to answer myself. Right. Scrub, man, niggas old go ahead and do it. We just can't prove it. Fuck that period. I ain't no red, I ain't telling no. I'm, I'm just being real talk. I got how much I love and let, man. You know what I'm saying? That's your real. It breaks your heart to see, like, no matter what goes on, if somebody get put in front of the police, niggas is gonna talk. Your closest homie, your brother, your mama, it don't matter. Everything could be going smooth. The second the police get involved, niggas is telling telling on everything and that's not to say what he's saying is true because even in the recording it sounded like he he didn't say directly that thug did it but he's basically saying everybody know thug did it. i mean he's they saying that everybody know thug has something to do with it but y'all can't prove it like nobody could prove it but everybody know like i mean bro if i if i'm walking around free and people talking to police about who i'm responsible for their death bro that's crazy but like i said that's already been reported that's not that ain't like no breaking news you know what i'm saying it's been on the internet for almost a year now that rich homie Quan made these statements i think the bigger thing is that even though Quan had made the statements I, I i'm pretty sure that he didn't have plans to get on the stand and say those same things Let's be honest, bro. You're going to have those. You should already know when you talk to the police in any capacity, when it's going against uh, somebody else, you damn near 90% of the time will have to back those statements up on the street. Right. I mean, the police, they get to decide which of the witnesses they want to use at trial. And I think they losing. So I think what's going on is that the state is losing. All of that Rico stuff is looking real shaky. And the biggest thing out of the whole case 
is really the murder. Yeah, that's that's, mean, that's what's going to get you life. That's what's going to get you 40, 50 years is the murder. You see what that's I'm saying? People are doing eight years on a Rico, 10 years on a Rico, but the murder is what's going to get them the time. So I think it's very interesting that the state feels like, man, now's the time to put this witness up on the stand who's already said out loud his mouth, man, Thug has something to do with that murder. And I think that they're trying to use that. Plus the fact he rich homie Quan, so it's not like some random person. You see what I'm saying? So not only is he rich homie Quan, people know who he is. This is what he's already said on camera. And now he gonna come into the court and say the same thing. And they could potentially get young thug life, man. Rich homie Quan, this news really just came out today. Uh, rich homie Quan has not really responded. He hasn't made no statements. I don't think has he has he yet. Bro, Ain't nothing came up. Quan, I don't think made a statement since this shit was released, and this shit was released like first came out like a year or two ago. Right, but I'm saying like today when they said he got subpoenaed and that he's gonna be on the stand, that bro. haven't that haven't right. And there's a chance that rich homie Quan could get on the stand and say, "Man, I don't remember none of that shit." And not only that, you got uh, them talking about uh, having Birdman come up there because the last little bit of stuff I was paying close attention to, they was bringing up the hit. And a lot right. of that stuff they were saying, they was dragging Birdman's name in it. And I was confused because I'm like, it seemed more or less like to me, the people that you claim ain't got nothing to do with it in, in the court of the law, y'all should have been indicted them. You ain't. Right. It seemed like you're not even indicting the right people. You prosecuting people who don't have much to do with what you talking about. That's that. Now that's true, man. Like with Birdman, I, I just feel that, you know, since Birdman has not made any statements prior, yeah. if they do force him on the stand, he could just get up there and say, he don't know shit. I mean, um, that's what I would say. Right. Or, or he just don't have to go up there. Like Birdman is on the witness list, but he has not been subpoenaed. He's not been forced to testify. He's that we been, know of. Right. He's just on the witness list and there'd be hundreds of people on the witness list and they don't always call them all. And sometimes those people don't even want to be there. They're just writing down like, look, we might call all these people. Um, and usually if they want to call you, but you don't want to go up, that's when they hit you with the subpoena. Um, Let me ask you a serious question. What's up? For the people, because, you know, there's probably some curious minds out there that want to know this just like me. If you had to make an educated guess, why would you say they took Gunna? Off the off the list to testify, but got people like Rich Homie, Birdman, and these other people on there. But the main person you hit with the Rico charge with Thug was Gunner. So why do you um, think they took him off, but got all these other people they want to testify? Um. So I I'm pretty sure when when they hit when they do the little Rico shit, they round everybody up, and usually the people with the least serious charges get kind of took care of first because they got the they least serious him number two though but i mean you saw I, what he ended know. up we know right right right. we know but i'm saying even what he pled guilty to was a very small charge yeah. Facts. um that's why he got a low sentence and he had to say ysl was a gang as a part of that plea agreement which is why people you know say he a rat because nobody like has, everybody else though right nobody but nobody said it in court before gunner so that's important to me. There a was. whole bunch of people said it after him. No, no. Gunner was the only one recorded saying it. There was somebody else before him that took that same deal that was, I think, Thug's brother or somebody close to him. You're right. Nope, you're right. You're right. Like you right. Right. Gunner. So nah, you're like, right. You're right. You're right. Everybody taking the same plea. That's my only gripe with it. And I think now probably be a good time for me just to throw this in there. Like, I, like just from my opinion... I just feel like niggas is doing the wrong, going about this the wrong way with the calling gun of the rat. But everybody that's got up there so far, they claim not to know shit. They impeached on the stand and use their words from years ago. These niggas already been ragging. Everybody Absolutely. was quick to now, jump I, on Gunner. I, I know what you, I know what you're saying, bro. Like you said, this is this is kind of, I guess, a good time to say it. I mean, I personally feel like we already talked about this, bro. Um, if you was in the game. If you knew this was a gang and you was in the gang, you can't say it's a gang. That's part of being in the gang. So anybody who said it was a gang, part of being in the gang is it's not a gang. What they say, well, you know, the first rule of Fight Club, there is no Fight Club. You see what I'm saying? Like, Rico case though. Excuse me? 
especially in a rico case especially like, in a rico case where it matters because if it's a music label if it's a dance group if it's some shit like that that's not no rico if it's a gang that's a rico just because it's a gang like you y'all don't necessarily have to get caught doing specific shit like the murder and that's why i think they're calling up rich homie Quan because i feel like they're losing the gang yeah. war yeah, the proving these that this was some big giant gang and they was terrorizing the city i think they're losing that battle and i think that the yeah so the last battle that they have is but you still did this murder holes in your almighty suit my man got shot in his face busting cells on the roof shit wicked I'm buying guns with my bread Free dead and elevator I know they sick of the feds It's the wiggies Ops got a plate on my head I get busy Y'all niggas better wait till I'm dead And when I die Put a staircase in my casket Send me to heaven with a Mac 10 Like